What is up, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in today. And by the way, before we get started, I just want to say one quick thing, okay? I just want to thank all of my subscribers who have recently subscribed. You all mean a lot to me. I don't really know, like, I don't really know uh, what username you guys are currently using. I don't know who exactly who you are. Like, other bigger YouTuber YouTube channels, they know, like, who subscribed and like you can always like for example mr beast he knows who subscribed i don't know this kind of stuff so i can't personally like give you a shout out or thank you so if you do want a shout out just leave a comment below and i will shout you out saying leave a comment below saying you do want a shout out and i will do that because i do feel like you guys have deserved that for sticking with me uh, i do believe we're about to hit uh five subscribers for me that's huge um but again thank you guys so much and i do want to let you guys know is that i will not be uploading for a while and here's why i may not be uploading uh, all the time and here's why I'm trying to create my first magic uh, full magic video just me performing magic with some music and it is taking a little while because that's working on lighting setting everything about that and just the time to do that so I may not give a I may not give a tutorial every Monday and Tuesday like for example today I will only be giving you I'll be giving you like one of my favorite magic tricks for opening for starting magic tricks it is super easy super easy to do all you need is a double all you need is a blank card if you like. For example, for me, I always use, when performing this, is I use, uh, I like to use my Cherry Casinos because the Cherry Casinos, they're great blank cards and they come with everything you need for this magic trick. Um, all you need is two duplicate jokers. So two duplicates. They have to be duplicate. Although you can use some PKNG red wheels because the jokers are not duplicate, but they're sort of look the same colors so you may not notice it but i suggest you use duplicates um you can get a bicycle deck and trade out get two of them and trade out jokers and you will also need a blank card the blank card makes it such a better effect i will be showing you i will first be performing this and then i will be then uh teaching you guys how to do it and again it's super easy and again hope you guys really enjoy this and thank you to all my subscribers if you want a shout out leave a comment below saying you want one and i'll give you a shout out thanks again now let's get into the tutorial right now all right, so again, this is how you perform it. Ready? Here we go. So I have a Joker right here, okay? I'm just going to give it now. A lot, not a lot of people know this, but if you uh, rub a card like this, you can actually make the ink disappear. No joke. Just like that. See how you make the ink disappear? You know what's crazier is that my pocket's been right here the whole time, and as I go in my pocket real quick, nothing in my hands, as I go in my pocket, the same Joker is actually right here. Now that is my favorite opening card trick to do now again this is how you this is how you perform it so that's how I perform it this is how it's done so again you're gonna need two jokers two duplicate jokers and one blank card and this is the setup you're gonna, you're gonna have a little setup but it's super easy all you're gonna do is you're gonna have one joker on top of the deck and on top of that joker will be a blank card and you'll have another joker the same duplicate in your pocket already there or in your wallet something like that in your wallet or just something like that or it can be in the spectator's hand Although I prefer uh, wallet or pocket. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a double lift. Now, if you haven't, if you don't know how to do a double lift, check out my channel. I have a double lift tutorial ready for you guys. It's like six minutes. Now, like I said, you're gonna do double lift, and I'm not gonna go too into that. But this is what, I'm not gonna go too into the double lift. This is what it looks like. One, two. You're gonna pick up that double lift, show the Joker, which you have. You have gonna show the Joker, and you say, "All right, I'm gonna show you guys a little secret. Not a lot of people know. What you do is you pretty much." Get the card and you paint it like this. Now this is called the paintbrush change. Um, all you're doing is getting the card and you're just going up, down, up, down, up, down. Sort of like painting. And you're holding two cards, so it may their form may maybe it'll, they might catch it because it might come out of placement like this. Because you can sort of see they're coming apart. So don't do a two launch. Just do like one, two. Make sure they see it. Three. Change. Now again, it's super fast and not everyone knows it. It's really easy to catch. However, it, it can be easy to catch depending on the uh, how they look it. Now it is angle sensitive. For example, you do it like this. Like it, it is and it isn't angle sensitive because like if you do it, for example, like this, like watch ready. Well, actually it isn't angle sensitive. Well, yeah, but it is, it is angle sensitive like this. So for example, you see it like this and like that, so you have to be careful with that because they can't see it. So again, one, two, and all you're gonna do is we're gonna release that top card. I'm just gonna release it, and it's gonna slide down in with the blank card. 
coming up. We'll do it again. So again, double lift, show. And you're going to say, all right, this is a little secret not a lot of people know. And I'm going to share it with you guys. You're going to get the, and you're going to say, so if you rub, if you paint a card like this, basically if you do this, you can actually make the card disappear just like that. And in doing so, you're letting go of that card. And the blank one's right there. But again, feel free to pause this video anytime you like. So double lift. This is the hardest part of the trick is the paintbrush. So and all you're going to do is you're going to release just like that. So again, we'll do it again. One more time. Show. Release. Ready. Release. Okay. Now, now the, remember, feel free to pause this video whenever you like. Now, here we go. So, um, oops, triple lift, huh? So you're going to show them. This is what you're going to do. Ready? You're going to show them. All right, guys, here we go. Little trade secret here. Um, if, you paint, if you do this with your cards, you can actually make them, you can make the ink come off. And you can actually feel it. It's actually a real card. And you're going to say, wait, hold on. Nothing in my hands, but I'm going to go. Now I'm going to go in my pocket, and it's actually right here the whole time. Just like that. Now, it's super easy to do. We'll do it one more time. So, again, card, double joker. You're going to have a duplicate joker and one blank card. One of the jokers goes in your pocket or in your wallet, or you can give it to the spectator, like, sneak it into their, uh, um, into their purse or, like, a pocket if you're good at that. Stick it in there. And you're going to say, all righty, here we go. I'm just going to... Paint a card like this, ready, release it, and say, oh, look, it disappears, and wait. Now, I've been standing here the whole time. You know what's crazy is that, what if that joker is in your pocket or purse right now, and they're looking like, oh my gosh, how did they get there? You're like the best magician ever. I have done it before, for I do it with my family, because they're obviously, they're probably, they're obviously gonna say yes. I never do it with the spectator, because if they say no, like a random person, they're gonna, if they say no, I'm gonna say, oh, can I have that card that I put in your pocket for a trick then? And it's kind of like an awkward moment. So do it with your family. And if you're feeling extra comfortable with it, like you know these people, or if you're, like, if you're feeling extra comfortable and you don't mind losing that card sometime in the future, then just say, sneak it in their pocket or purse. Say, hey, uh, can I show you a quick tr card trick? And if they're lucky, they'll say yes. And you're like, oh, great and just stuff like that happens but again don't always do this with random people do it with your family for when sticking the card into their pocket or purse now again this is super easy to do one of my favorite card tricks to perform especially when i'm getting ready to show them what i can do it's so simple so easy and again hope you guys enjoyed this if you haven't already hit that subscribe button leave a like and leave a comment below saying if this helped you out or not i'll see you guys next time bye